Hello friends, I'm George, the nice smelling gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing good. Now, when it comes to Dior Homme Intense clones, which is one of my all-time favorites and uh, up until recently my most favorite clone was Cayenne Classic from the House of Al Watania. And uh, I never thought that I'll find uh, something that comes close to Cayenne Classic when it comes to the closeness to the original scent and the quality. But I may have found something that uh, may be better than Cayenne Classic. A few weeks ago I got my hands on a bottle of this thing, Oud Intense from the house of Mason Asra. I was very impressed when I initially tested this fragrance out and after a few weeks of uh, testing this, uh, you know, longer term testing, uh, I'm ready to do my full review of uh, Oud Intense. So in today's video I'm going to tell you whether Oud Intense from Mason Asra is actually better than Cayenne Classic from Awatania. The presentation of uh, Oud Intense from Mason Asar looks like this. This is the box of uh, the fragrance. Uh, it comes in this brownish color uh, with golden uh, accents. On the front you got with big letters the name of the fragrance, the name of the company, the bottle size 80 milliliters, the concentration EDP. On the top some branding, on the back uh, some additional information, a sticker of authenticity. The whole box has this sort of an, uh, like a snake skin pattern on it. Uh, on the bottom we have a production date which is June of 2022. In order to get to the bottle you need to slide uh, you know, the inside part of the box like this. And once you do that you are greeted by the bottle which looks like this. It has an interesting design. Uh, the cap is plastic but it's a very snug fit. You get a secure click when you put it on. Uh, it has nice heft to it. All in all, you know, the whole presentation and the bottle design is really nice. The only thing that I don't like is uh, these things that uh, you know hang here on the front. Uh, they look like uh, earrings or something like that. But apart from that, the actual presentation is really, really nice. If you enjoy my content, guys, but you're not yet a subscriber to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really motivates me to keep create, creating more useful content for you guys. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, now let's talk about the note breakdown of uh, this fragrance, at least what I was able to find online. The top notes are iris and spicy notes, the middle notes are balsamic notes and woody notes, and the base notes are ambergris, moss and wood. Now, not a very um, you know accurate note breakdown. Um, not too many notes listed, but I'll tell you what I pick up from this fragrance. This is the actual sprayer, which does a pretty decent job. And now onto the scent of this thing. Now, as I said in the opening, uh, this thing is a clone of Dior Homme Intense. Uh, so being a clone of Dior Homme Intense, uh, you should get that uh, very lipsticky powdery iris that you get with the original scent in order for this to be a good clone. And I definitely pick up a lot of this, uh, you know, sweet, uh, powdery, lipsticky iris uh, right from the get-go, right from the initial spray. It's, uh, it feels uh, really nicely sweet and powdery in the opening, but uh, definitely feels uh, a lot more woody compared to the original scent. Uh, I also pick up uh, quite a lot of musk like you get with the original fragrance, uh, but uh, the main difference here is the fact that uh, this thing uh, feels a little bit more woody and uh, probably that's why Mason Asrar have went with the name, uh, you know, Oud Intense. It's just like a slightly more woody take on the original DNA. But uh, it's actually very, very close and uh, also feels a tight bit sweeter, just a little bit sweeter compared to the original scent when you first spray it. Once this goes into the dry down, it comes, becomes really, really close to the original fragrance, uh, but again remains a little bit more woody compared to the uh, your Homme Intense and maybe a little bit more musky. But still, all in all, if you like the original scent of uh, your Homme Intense, you'll probably enjoy the scent of uh, Mason Asrar's Oud Intense. Uh, and uh, I also really, really enjoy the scent of this fragrance. When it comes to the closeness of Oud Intense to the original Dior fragrance, you know, Dior Homme Intense. As I said, this is very, very close, especially in the air around the person who wears this one. But up close, I find a few little differences. Uh, as I said, this thing feels a little bit sweeter in the opening, uh, a little bit more woody. 
and on the dry down I pick up a touch of oud somewhere in the background uh, and all in all it feels a little bit more oudy the whole scent profile compared to the original scent and again probably that's why Mason Aswar have went with the name oud intense but all in all this is very very similar to Dior Homme Intense uh, and uh, probably uh, you know it's the second best thing that I've tried closeness wise to the original fragrance uh, only slightly behind Kain Classic from Alba Tania. but if you know how Dior Homme Intense smells uh, you'll definitely pick up that this is a very high quality clone of your home intense and as I said in the air around the person who wears this one it's almost identical to the original fragrance when it comes to the performance this thing is a pretty good performer I get somewhere between eight to nine hours of performance out of uh, Oud Intense uh, from Mason Aswar on my skin with very decent projection in the first hour and a half up to two hours so performance wise this is a good performing fragrance when it comes to the price tag at least here in Europe it's a little bit more expensive than the usual clones uh, I paid uh, about 30 euros in order to get uh, Oud Intense which I think is a decent deal considering that the original fragrance nowadays tends to be quite uh, expensive but one thing that I don't like about Oud Intense and the price tag is the fact that you only get 80 milliliters instead of the standard one 100 milliliters when it comes to versatility again being uh, super close to your home intense this definitely is more orientated towards the colder months of the year and uh, also definitely a nighttime scent compared to you know wearing this to uh, you know during the day and on to my final thoughts about Oud Intense from Mason Asra this is a very very high quality clone of Dior Homme Intense it's done in a very nice way you get a very nice presentation you get a good performing fragrance all in all it's really really nicely done and in my opinion this is the second best clone that I have ever tried uh, when it comes to Dior Homme Intense clones for, for me still the number one clone the best clone of Dior Homme Intense remains Cayenne Classic from Alvatania but this thing comes at a very very close second place after Cayenne Classic performance wise it's uh, pretty much identical to what you get with Cayenne Classic but in my opinion still Cayenne Classic uh, is feels a little bit better scent wise and a little bit closer to the original fragrance but if you cannot get your hands on Cayenne Classic uh, I think Oud Intense from Mason Asrar is probably your next best option when it comes to uh, your Om Intense clones I've been really enjoying uh, Oud Intense uh, and I give this uh, fragrance a huge like because it does a very very good job at cloning your Om Intense so again if you cannot get your hands on uh, Cayenne Classic from Albatania this is your second best option and as I said this thing gets a huge like from me Wood Intense from Mason Asra. And so guys, in today's video I showed you a super high quality clone of Dior Homme Intense from the house of Mason Asra called Wood Intense. This is probably the second best clone of Dior Homme Intense that I have ever tried, only behind Kain Classic from Al Watania. I hope that you found this video interesting or helpful. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.